For at least 50 years, we've been dumping plastic into our oceans. Now our seas are giving it back in the form of microplastic. Every spring, hundreds of thousands of pounds of tiny pieces of plastic are washed ashore onto Oregon's beaches. They concentrate in a narrow band at the high tide line. They are laced with PCBs and other highly toxic chemicals. And for the first time, there is now a way to remove them permanently from the ocean. Microplastics are a material that's left over when larger macroplastics like bottles and car parts and plastic bags are broken down. They're broken down into size of 0.5 millimeters to 5 millimeters, and they become microplastics. Microplastics are the deadliest of marine debris. Microplastics have been ingested at every level of the food web at this point, from lukeworms in the bottom of the ocean to seabirds flying in the air above the ocean, and every organism in between. We started seeing necropsy work that indicated our marine turtles were ingesting large amounts of marine plastic, and half a kilo of marine plastic can kill a turtle. How much microplastic does it take to kill a waterfowl? About seven grams. Uh, it could be less, but what we've seen is in our necropsies is seven grams, the bird's dead. These tiny plastics will wash ashore for generations, but microplastics researcher Mark Ward has invented a unique tool to remove them from the environment. I realized we have got to have a solution to this. We have got to be able to remove this material. So we developed a filtration system that's simple, low cost, manual, needs no fuel or outside energy. And we can bring these screens to the beach when the sand's dry. They're made with a particular polymer material that emits a low level electrostatic charge. We load them with sand and plastic and we filter the sand through the screen and all the plastic is captured. The screen has a 0.7 millimeter mesh, but it catches material down to 50 micrometers because of the low electrostatic charge that it emits. These tiny pieces of plastic, laced with toxic chemicals, are also dangerous to people. I believe the highest threat is when you come and you build a beach fire on top of uh, this kind of a density of plastic. Every POP in that plastic is immediately released into your face. Mark has surveyed much of the Oregon coast for microplastic. This marine plastic follows pathways on the currents through the ocean. What happens is the plastics experience a thing called gyre memory, and they'll make landfall in high density at the same locations over and over and over, where maybe 300 meters down the beach, they'll never fall. So by focusing our efforts on these sites, where we have continuous high density landfall, we can have a real impact and not have to chase the materials up and down the beach for hundreds of miles. Because the microplastics concentrate in a relatively small portion of Oregon's beachfront, it could be possible with enough volunteers to clean them up each year. But this is not just an Oregon story. Mark's screens are already in use from Australia to Canada. This issue is a global issue. Our goal is to filter every site on Earth that has high density landfall as material. We are identifying these high density sites around the globe so that many people can start focusing on these sites and will really increase our impact on the overall marine system. As long as we keep removing these microplastics from these high density sites, we're filtering the ocean, which has been impossible up to this time. We can literally remove tons and tons and tons of this material from the marine system.